हेलो फ्रेंड्स नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा तो फाइनाइट एज वी नो दैट द फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा इज अ मैथमेटिकल मॉडल इज अ मैथमेटिकल मॉडल ऑफ फाइनाइट स्टेट मशीन ओके एंड इट इज ऑफ टू टाइप फर्स्ट इज नोन एज अप्टर विच इज विच मीन्स फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा विदाउट आउटपुट okay and the second type is transducer means finite automata with output okay now further i break uh, i break down the acceptor technique into three parts one is dfa deterministic finite automata nfa non deterministic finite automata i will write it down it as also ndfa okay and the third part is epsilon nfa okay in the transducer it is of two type one is mure machine and next another one is miller machine but in the subject of the compiler i will uh, i have to study or you have to study uh, this uh, only the scepter technique which consists of dfa nfa and epsilon nfa okay so first of all in this video we discuss about dfa technique okay deterministic finite automata so dfa is defined by five tuples with m equals to q sigma del q not and f where q is finite state or you can say total state sig this sigma represent the input values this is the transition uh, function delta is a transition function and in case of dfa transition function represented by q into sigma which gives q means set of state combined with input gives a new state q okay this q not is the initial state and this f is the final state so dfa or you can say nfa can be represented by five tuple all these five tuples so in the in this uh, in the subject of compiler we uh, study about three four types of dfa four types of dfa okay first dfa the type uh, type one is we work out on the problem which is uh, for the strings ending with some strings okay second type is string starting with some values third type is substring okay and fourth type is divisibility okay so there are four types of dfa problem start string ending with string starting with substring and divisibility and i will discuss uh, one by one with an example so first we discuss about type 1 which is string ending with okay so <clears throat> we take an example that i have to construct a dfa for all strings which are ending with a b a okay so with the simplest technique first of all uh we represent this dfa with the five tuple values where m equals to q sigma del q not and f where sigma have an input a comma b now assume that for this type of question i have to assume that first state q not which is a initial state okay then q1 assume next state q1 string ending with first value that is a okay next state that is q2 string ending with a concatenate with b then so we assume q2 state string ending with ab and the third state which is the final state string ending with aba string ending with aba now we create a transition table by assumption by taking this assumption and by taking the input a and b how will create c 
see q0 is the initial state so we represent it like this next state is q1 next state is q3 sorry q2 and the final state is q3 which will be represented by an asterisk we have two input values one a and second is b now q0 which is the initial state we uh, we represented by an epsilon because epsilon is nothing null value q1 with q1 represent with state ending with a so we write it down a q2 is string ending with ab so we write it down ab and for q3 it a string ending with aba so we write it down ab now we construct the uh, transition table by combining with these value one by one and see what is the next state while taking an input a or b to respective states how first state see here for this entry for q0 with a means q0 is the state having an input a then which on which state this q0 goes means uh, you combine this epsilon a epsilon in a value for getting this entry if i combine these two value epsilon in a epsilon a is nothing is simple a and a represent which state q1 it means this entry comes out to be q1 okay now for this entry i have to combine epsilon b now if i combine this value epsilon b what epsilon b b means b but this single b is not present in our entry it means on getting b input to this state it do not move to any other state so this state will be q not itself okay now for this entry i have to combine a and a okay the string ending with aa now see here this aa is not present here in this any entry so i have it cut down cut down the first value a and the remaining state uh, remaining value will be a single a but single a will be present for which state q1 so the here the entry will be filled by q1 okay now for this entry i have to combine these two values means ab now see ab is present here yes present for which state it is presented q2 so the entry will be q2 now for this entry i have to combine ab with a ab with a so check whether this a entry ab is present over here yes with q3 entry then this state will be q3 now combine with ab with b ab with b now check a b b present here no so i have to cut down with 1a now check b b no i have to cut uh, now i have to check for single b b is also not present there it means that q2 uh, q2 will not on putting a b input will not go to the any other state it will represented like sorry it will represented by q not okay now uh for q3 if i combine with a b a a okay then uh a b a a then c a b a a is not present over here so i have to cut down a value then check for b a a b a is not present here then cut down to next value the last two values a here cut it down a and the last a value which is represented by q1 so we make the entry q1 now the last value is a b a b now see uh, a b a b is not present over here so i will cut down the first entry then b a b is not here i will cut down the next entry a b is present with the entry q2 so will i will make an entry q2 now according to this transition table i will generate the dfa like this here q0 is the initial state the next state is q1 next state is q2 and next state is q3 which is the final state so on q0 with a entry it move to the next state that is q1 q0 in b entry it move to the b q0 uh, q1 with a entry it move to the a only 
Q1 on B entry, it moved to Q2. Q2 with A entry, it moved to Q3. Uh, Q2 with B entry, it moved to B, oh sorry, Q0. And for Q3 with A entry, it moved to the Q1 value, Q1 state. And for Q3 uh, with B input, it moved to the B entry. Now verify for any string whether it is acceptable, which is ending with ABA, it is accept or not by this DFA. For example, uh, if I have a string like this AAABA, which is which end with ABA, it means this string have to be accepted for this DFA. Now check. The first entry is A. So we move out to, with A. I move out to Q1. Then A. Again I have to move out to Q1. Then again A. Q1. Then B to Q2. And Q2 with A is Q3 which is a final state. So it is accepted. Now uh, next entry uh, like B, B, A, B, A, B. Which is which uh, this string is not ended with ABA, so it is not be accepted by this machine. Now verify it. B B A B A B, which is a Q2, which is not a final state. So this string is not accepted by this DFA. So this is how we uh, we create a DFA for the type one, which is string ending with ABA. See my next video for the next time. Thanks for watching.